Okay, in this video, I'm gonna give you three best chest exercises that I use to grow my chest, to make me look nice and full in every t-shirt that I wear. These are the three exercises that I swear by. The first exercise I always start off with is a seated pec deck, or pec fly, or chest fly, or whatever you wanna call it. Now, the reason I always start with this exercise is because it's a great warm-up exercise. It gets the blood flowing in your chest, and that means when I go on to the next exercise, it's gonna reduce the chance of injury, the chest is already warm, and that is exactly what we want. Key point to this exercise is, of course, you need to be slow on the eccentric part of the movement. So nicely and controlled, two to three seconds on the way back down as you're opening up your chest. One second to squeeze it together. Hold it for a second as well. Get that squeeze. Make sure you feel each and every rep, otherwise you're just wasting your time. I normally do this for three or four sets, a reasonably light to moderate weight. It's not about how much weight you're lifting. You can make 20 kilos feel like 100 kilos if you slow everything down, squeeze everything, and do it with the correct form. And apart from the terrible facials, it gives you a nice pump to start off the session. Now the second and arguably the most important exercise that I do is an incline dumbbell chest press or bench press. This is obviously the exercise where you're moving a lot of weight through your chest, but again, the same thing applies slow on the eccentric, one to two seconds down, maybe not two to three because it is heavier, but control the weight down, push it all the way to the top and squeeze your hands together at the top. Squeeze together so you're squeezing your chest, you're bringing your chest in, you'll feel that squeeze at the top, at the middle and the top of your chest. Now again, this is something I do for about three or four sets, you know, one sort of warm up -y kind of set, not warm up as in super light, but warm up as in good weight to get me used to what's to come. So I think, for, for example, I would start off with the 40s as a warm up set, and I would move on to the, depending how strong I'm feeling, 60s, 65s, um, and then I would do a back off set as well, but each rep is controlled as possible. The reason this is my favorite exercise is because it obviously builds your upper chest, and now the upper chest is the part of the chest you want to build the most, because it's gonna give you that effect of having a much bigger chest than you actually do. If you have a bigger upper chest, then most t-shirts you wear will sit nicely at the top of your chest and they'll fall off nicely, at your mid chest and that is what you want that gives you the illusion of having a much bigger chest which is why it's one of my favorites yeah so for this one i would say three to four sets one moderate warm-up two working sets and a back off set as well but again focus on the eccentric and focus on the squeeze so far we've done the pec deck which works the inner and the outer chest we've done the incline press which works the middle and upper chest and then finally to finish off i'll do this fancy looking machine which is like a decline fly now i appreciate most gyms probably won't have this but you can do it with the cables you start with the cables up shoulder high and you bring it down in front of you and you squeeze your hands together you know in front of your crotch essentially and feel that squeeze and this is predominantly side and decline chest so these three exercises you're covering all parts of the chest and again it is key to slow it all down if slowing it down is not something you're used to try it for your next session slow everything down and I bet you I promise you in fact that the next day you will feel ridiculously sore which is what we want because that's how you get your micro tears in the muscles that's what allows the muscles to grow. It's important with each of the three exercises that you squeeze. The pec deck, you squeeze in the middle. The incline press, you squeeze at the top. And the decline fly, you squeeze at the bottom. Squeezing is important. Sounds strange, but it's true. Super short video. I wanted to show you the three exercises that I do. And obviously you can see I look super pumped after doing them. I've done a few lateral raises here as well, so my shoulders are a bit pumped, but it definitely works the chest. You definitely 100% feel it the day after as well. So I recommend you give it a go. I wouldn't say you need to do any more than this. If you do three to four sets on the pec deck, you do three or four sets on incline press, and again, three or four sets on the decline fly. That is more than enough. As long as you're slowing everything down, you are certainly going to feel it. So I hope that helped. Like I said, three exercises that I do every single time I train chest and it's not failed me so far. I've got a strong chest, I've got a big chest. So give it a try, let me know what you think. And if you want to see more videos like this, drop a comment, let me know. But hopefully this can help some of you. Hopefully your chest will grow significantly after listening to these tips. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I will be, Jim Sharp, code will be, seeing you in the next one.